Hello folks, it's Miami Beach Audits. This is a quickie for you Starbucks customers. Just want you guys to know they've been putting antibiotics in their cream cheese. And this is a package of cream cheese I got from Starbucks. Now they had closed down during the lockdown. None of the Starbucks around here were open from March to September. And when they reopened they had different cream cheese. This is the first time that I read the ingredients on the new package. I noticed it has natamycin in it. It's listed as a mold inhibitor, but natamycin is an antibiotic. It's one of the myriad ingredients in the antibiotic melange known as Zithromax, which is what they had been using to treat coronavirus cases along with hydroxychloroquine and finding some success with it until the CDC said they couldn't do it. There are doctors who are still doing it and having success curing the coronavirus, but it's a naturally occurring antibiotic, like penicillin, and the Trump administration at some point apparently relaxed the regulations so that they can put it in food without requiring a prescription for the food. You still need a prescription to obtain the pure naphtomycin. When you order your next bagel and cream cheese at Starbucks, be forewarned that you'll be taking antibiotics when you eat that cream cheese. And it's going to kill all the bacteria in your stomach. So if you get a little bit constipated, or if you have digestive problems after eating it, you'll know why. This is Miami Beach Audits. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. And hit that bell notification. I'm out. See you on the next one.